Yo, what is poppin' people, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Autoboard. Welcome back to another tutorial, guys. And in this tutorial, guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to make Photoshop edits like this. So we're gonna be turning these two images into this in this video. So this is something I made the other day. I posted it on Twitter, and uh, yeah, it kind of, it got a decent amount of likes. So I was like, you know what, screw it. I might as well make a tutorial on it. And it's honestly not that hard. It looks pretty complicated, but it's actually pretty easy. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so I got two images here these are the two images we're gonna work with um i took these on my canon m50 um so yeah i i, I think these images will look great on an edit so i'm gonna be trying to recreate this maybe i'll make it a little bit different maybe like change some things here and there maybe the colors and stuff but nevertheless guys let's get right into the tutorial so when i was making this the first thing i did was i ended up masking out the foreground here as you can see like the branches and stuff and getting rid of the background and stuff so this is actually really easy to do what i'm gonna to do is i'm gonna go to the top click on select and mask and uh, this is basically what i use for masking out like objects and stuff this is really good for people too so like if you're trying to mask someone out or like you know because like i'll show you why in a little bit but um you're just gonna want to click here make sure you have this tool selected and then you want to select the area that you want to mask so i'm just gonna select you know the tree here um the rocks and stuff and yeah we're just gonna select this all so as you guys can see this isn't masked out pretty good at all so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this tool now and with this tool we're gonna go over it all again except this time it's gonna get all the fine details and stuff okay so i selected most of the fine details and uh, you can also change the view i forgot to mention this if you want to view it on black and white or overlay which is what i do most of the time so as you can see or you can do onion skin or you know stuff like that if you want to change um how it looks basically or like you know so you can really see what you're working with you can do that there so i think this mask looks pretty good all i did was select it with this tool and then i went with this tool and then did all the fine edges and stuff so once you're done with that you can click ok and as you can see, our thing is completely masked now. As you can see, we got the foreground now. The next thing I like to do, which this is optional, you don't have to, but I think it'll I think it'll make it easier in the long run. Instead of just having this whole mask thing, what I'll do is create a new layer, select both of them, merge layers to raster size it. So once we raster size that, now we can start actually getting into compositing and stuff and like start adding certain like, you know, effects and like, you know, just cool stuff like that. So what I'm thinking of doing is instead of doing the ufo with like the purple and stuff i'm thinking of making this more like maybe bluish greenish so what i'll do is i'll go to color over here color overlay so to do that we're gonna right click the layer go to blending options and then go to color overlay you can also do gradient overlay too that's what i did in the thing as well and uh with I guess we'll do gradient overlay actually instead but with gradient overlay you're gonna want to select the color that you want the the basically the thing to be so i'm gonna do maybe like a blue here at the top and then maybe like a green at the bottom and then blending mode this one you're gonna want to mess with so if you go to the blending mode you're just gonna want to you're just gonna want to scroll through all this with your mouse cursor or no sorry your mouse wheel until you get something that looks kind of cool so mm, i think this looks pretty cool i mean i feel like the the blue at the top is a little too much for the little tree thing so we're gonna lower this a little bit actually i like overlay more i'm gonna use overlay instead so the next thing i like to do after that is go on to the other layer we're working with so now that we got the foreground let's go to the background and with the background we're gonna do the select and mask as well so we're just gonna you know drag our little mouse cursor over it and select and mask everything and then right here with this little like telephone pole i'm gonna use the the other brush that we used earlier to select it more and uh, i'm gonna go over this part too so it'll look a little more blended in okay so now that we got that done we got the background completely select and masked and then we're just gonna raster size that as well so like that and since we did that with the foreground mask and the background mask as well now we can add in any sky we want so what i'll do is i'll just go on google images and you could just look up really anything you could look up nebula or sky or galaxy or anything that looks cool Okay, so I found a sky I want to use, so I'm just going to right-click, copy image, and then paste the image in here. 
and then we're just gonna resize this to make it bigger and you will notice that the tree branches aren't composited you know they're not composited that well you could go into select and mask and work on it more but honestly i feel like that's kind of like that's very time consuming and it's gonna it you know it's not gonna be perfect no matter what you do so i think that's i, I think i'm just gonna leave it like that for now i mean i could have worked on this area more right here but other than that guys we got the sky composited now so now we're gonna go into the background layer and do basically what we did with the other one we're gonna right click Click, go to blending options and then go to gradient overlay here and then this one we're gonna mess with more so i feel like hmm, instead of doing this like this maybe we'll go here and then you just want to play with the colors until you get something cool um you also can go through the blending modes as well until you get something you like so i found a gradient overlay that i liked i'm gonna be using multiply with the gradient like this and the opacity like this and then this is what we're getting so far. So as you can see, it's it's kind of starting to come together. But uh, I feel like it should be darker because it's nighttime. So we're going to go up here to image, adjustments, brightness, and contrast. You could use exposure as well. Where is it? Um, Exposure. Yeah, you could do exposure as well. But I'm going to do brightness and contrast. So I'm just going to decrease this a little bit. Maybe increase the contrast a little bit. And boom, that's what we got so far. Now, you'll notice that with the first image I made, that you'll notice there's some lighting I added onto the rocks, and then there's the UFO, obviously. So, I don't know, I don't think I'm going to add a UFO this time. I think I'll add something else. So, we could add, we could add basically anything, alright? Literally anything you want, you can add in the background. So, let me just think of something that I might want to add. Alright, so I got an image of the Death Star right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, hold click on this. Oops, get the magic wand tool, select everything around it, and then just basically delete it all. But yeah, I guess we're going to add this because I couldn't think of anything else to add. So we're just going to add this in the background, and I'm just going to resize this. You know, we'll put it right here, I guess, in the middle. Um, usually you want to do rule of thirds when you're, like, compositing stuff like this. But, you know, screw it. Screw the rule of thirds. We're just going to do it in the middle. So yeah, let's just put it in the middle. And then you're going to want to do the same thing that I did on the other layers, which is go to gradient overlay. And you just want to add a filter onto it, basically, like a color overlay or gradient overlay onto it just to composite it more. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's starting to come together now. Now, this is the part that's going to make the biggest difference. Now, what I like to do now is once I see my scene starting to come together, that's when I'll start adding um, the color correction. So for color correction, what I'll do mainly, and I think this makes the biggest difference, the first thing I'll do is I'll add a lookup table. So to do that, we're going to go to the bottom right corner here, click on here, and where is it color lookup we're gonna add color lookup now you're gonna want to look on the internet and like you know scroll through some youtube videos and download some 3d luts all right if you don't know what 3d luts are they're basically like it's like a filter basically that's the simplest way i can put it as you can see, I have a ton of 3D LUTs here, and you're just going to want to scroll around, look for some free ones, and you're just going to want to find a 3D LUT that you enjoy, and just apply it to everything. So this is what it looks like without the 3D LUT, and then this is what it looks like. As you can see, there's a pretty big difference, but uh, I feel like, you know, this is cool and all, but it needs more, it needs more lighting, you know, we need to add some more lighting. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add more images and more assets and overlays and stuff on top of it to composite everything more you know make everything look better basically okay so i just added a simple laser i got this image off of google i just looked up red laser and uh, this is one of the first things that came up so as you guys can see i just resized it into position here and to do that you're just going to press Control t and then with Control t you're able to like drag it and move it around and stuff you know so yeah i just resized it there and then if you go here to the blending mode this right here this area uh, for blending mode, I always do screen if it's like if it's like just got a black background and uh, As you guys can see our laser is pretty much well composited now and make sure every make sure everything is below the color lookup table the what otherwise it won't be affected by the color correction so now that we have the laser imported the next thing i like to do is work on the lighting so as you guys can see it's a pretty bright laser so um what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna create a new layer and then we're just gonna make the light red. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna get the brush tool. Make sure it's a soft brush. And we're just gonna start drawing. Here, wait, let me do this. Let me do this red. We're just gonna start drawing um, some light basically reflecting off of the rocks. So, you know, something like this maybe. You know, just something basic and, you know, something like that kinda. 
And uh, what I'll do now is I'll go into the eraser tool. Basically just like smoothing everything out, make it less, you know, round and stuff. Because it looks pretty round with the brush I'm using. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go like this basically. And uh, we're, yeah, we're just going to make some lighting basically. Just draw some lighting on. And uh, once you're finished doing that, then you can go here, scroll with your mouse wheel. And you're just going to want to find a blending mode that looks pretty good. So... I mean, I guess this this looks kind of cool. Um, another thing you can do is go to the top, go to filter, blur, and you can add a Gaussian blur on here, which will basically just make it, you know, it's basically just a blur, you know? And then once you do that, then you can start um, erasing again on the other sides like this. So it looks more realistic. But uh, yeah, you just want to scroll through these blending modes until you find something that looks, you know, pretty realistic. Alright, so as you can see with the color correction, it's starting to look a lot better. Obviously, we could do more. We could um, we could make the, f the background a little bit more red if we wanted to by going here, adding a color overlay, making it just like slightly red. But uh, yeah, that, that, that honestly, I feel like it won't really work really well right here. Right here. Um, what you could do is you could um you could get the the little brush thing again and then just start drawing it on like all these objects right here you know but like like that'll that'll take hours so yeah we're not gonna do that another thing i like doing is adding smoke overlays i feel like smoke and fog and other cool stuff like that looks so much better in these photo edits so i'm just gonna import a smoke overlay go to blending options color overlay and then we're just gonna make the color basically something that'll fit in so like maybe green or like you know maybe a little bit of green like some blue greenish fog and then we can go here to the blending mode and we just want to find something that composites it well into here you can also lower the opacity too if it's too strong and you can uh duplicate these two as well so we can make two of them and then one of them will be maybe a different hue so this is what it looks like with the fog and everything all, you know, composited in with the blending modes and stuff. I'm using difference, and you usually you don't use difference for this. This is used for something completely different, but I'm going to be using it in this case because it works. So once I have the uh, fog and stuff in, the next thing I like to add is some particles. So I'll just go on Google Images, search up like red particles, blue particles, green particles, whatever color you want. And we're just going to import these particles into here. Um, these are the ones I got right here, so we can just, you know, drag, resize it, and then we're going to do the same thing with the blending mode. Just go through blending modes until we find something that looks nice. So as you can see, it's starting to come together. I'm going to lower the uh, color thing a little bit because I feel like it's too strong. But uh, as you can see, we're pretty much almost done here, guys. Um, the last thing I like to do now is add glows everywhere. This part can take a while. But honestly, this is probably the most impactful part. As you can see, this first image I made has a ton of glows everywhere and some lens flares too. Um, yeah, we're just going to do basically that. But uh, yeah, to do that, what we're going to do now is... Let me actually increase this just a little bit. Uh, to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to get the brush tool. Make the brush a pretty big size like this. Or maybe even bigger. Like, Okay, not that big. Maybe like this big right here. And then we're just gonna we're just gonna start adding like colors or everywhere. So like here maybe, and then we'll just do some green here, some blue in the middle. Um, there is a little bit of purple right there I see from the the little northern lights. And then we'll add some more, some more green and some you know just stuff like that. And then what I like to do now is go up to filter, add the Gaussian blur again. And then we're just going to want to increase that a bunch. And uh, I feel like the the glow on the Death Star laser needs more. So we'll add a bigger glow there. And then once again, we're going to go into the blending modes. And we're just going to find a blending mode that looks good. So I have the blending mode on screen. And I have the opacity at 38. Uh, next thing we're going to do, which is probably the last thing we'll do, is we're going to add uh, a new adjustment here. And then, where is it? We're going to go to curves. And then with curves, what you can do is you can use these if you want to, like, composite it and make it, like, normal colored, you know? 
you could just select like the lighters with that you know mid tones with that and then like the dark parts with that i think i haven't done it in a while because i don't really do that often but that's if you want to make it normal color like you know make it look realistic but in this case we don't want it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the darks down like that drag the brights up like that and we're just gonna make some contrast basically like this and then if you want to you can go into each individual channel and like adjust them too so if you don't want too much red like this you can lower it if you want more greens you can increase the greens as well and you just want to you know you just want to try and like make something that looks cool so even like this this looks cool if we reduce the greens like this the blues we can also increase at certain parts um and yeah like that basically so there's the final result guys as you guys can see i think this came out pretty freaking sweet um i don't think it's as good as the other one i made i don't think it's as good as this one this one i spent like a good two hours on this one right here i made in about 30 minutes just now so yeah that's how to make photo edits as you guys can see you can get super creative with this there's so many things you can do you can do crazy edits you can add anything you want select and mask is super useful Control t overlays you know you could just add as many assets overlays and color corrections as you want and eventually you'll get something that looks like this now obviously it's going to take practice if you're a beginner if you're just starting out with photoshop this is going to take a lot of time to like you know do and learn but it is worth it in the end because i don't know i think this looks freaking sweet but yeah guys that's the tutorial thank you guys so much for watching drop a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new i make videos about editing tutorials gfx vfx and all sorts of cool stuff so be sure to subscribe for that and i'll catch you guys in the next one guys peace no, no.